Are you looking for a laptop that's suitable for machine learning? You are going love this post as it includes the models that are recommended by known artificial intelligence and data learning experts in the industry. The Asus ROG Zephyr SS is one of the very known gaming laptops, but the computing juice in them is just what the tech doc ordered for machine learning. The machine has a 15.6 inch display and has a 512 gigabytes SSD for storage. It has a 16 gigabytes internal memory. The processor for this is the Intel Core i7-8750H. The graphics are taken care of by the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080, 8GB. This graphics card is perfect for deep learning techniques. The laptop plays almost every AAA game, including Division 2. The machine has a 178-degree viewing angle. Asus has also taken care of the cooling aspects with this one. Its aerodynamic system has 12 volts fans and anti-dust tunnels for better cooling performance. The battery life is under 3 hours when performing heavy-duty tasks. If you are using it for mixed usage, like watching videos, browsing the internet, etc., expect a battery life of 4 hours. The display is Pantone validated, which means that the display has color correction and better fidelity of the screen in reproducing colors. This is a highly color accurate screen and with the refresh rates, the entire display experience is excellent. It weighs more than 2 kilos. HP is a newer entrant in the gaming laptop's niche but has held its own with the Omen series. The HP Omen has Intel i7-8750H. For the RAM, it has a 32GB RAM and the hard drive is a 512GB SSD. The graphics are handled by the NVIDIA GeForce 1070. The display is a 15.6 inches full HD IPS with anti-glare, so that's good news for people who will be staring at the screen for more extended periods. The display is good and provides excellent viewing angles. The bezels are ultra slim, giving more viewing and display real estate for the user. It weighs 5 pounds for ports, it has 3 USBs, including a USB-C. Gaming laptop creators are now looking at creating a muted aesthetic, and that remains true for the HP Omen series as well. It has a high build and looks right in place, anywhere you take it. Apart from the build, the placing of the ports is commendable as well. You will find the ports in such a place that the majority of the wires can easily be hidden behind the screen, creating a clutter-free workspace. The HP Omen provides some serious, heavy-duty graphics performance. One delightful addition is the Ethernet connection. So, you don't have to rely on the Wi-Fi, something you wouldn't if you were looking for good internet speeds. The MSI GS65 is a high-end laptop that has the right specifications for machine learning. The display is 15.6. The RAM is a healthy 32GB and storage is 512GB. The processor is the 8th generation Intel Core i7-9750H. For GPU, this MSI model is available in two variants, the RTX 2070 and the GTX 1070. The display is anti-glare and offers a wide view angle, making it a better option for you. The bezels are thin, what the company calls razor-thin bezels. This gives more display real estate, making this an excellent choice. The laptop has an 82% screen-to-body ratio. Coming to the ports, it has a USB Type 3.1, three USB A ports, an HDMI port, and even an Ethernet port. It's interesting to see an Ethernet port in a sleek and portable laptop. The laptop has a unique and eye-catching build, making it stand out among the crowd. The gold accents and the exciting design of the cooling vents certainly make a statement. Another exclusive feature is the MSI app, which allows for the seamless integration of mobile games on PC platforms. It is built entirely out of steel and is therefore very durable and portable. The keyboard is unique, a Steel Series 1, known for its gamer-centric peripherals. The battery lasts up to 8 hours. The laptops used for machine learning and data learning are high-end, and they require specific cooling. The MSI GS65 has the Cooler Boost Trinity. The CBT has whirlwind blade fans that increase the air pressure and airflow, leading to better cooling performance. The Gigabyte Aero has a 15.6 Full HD display, with IPS and anti-glare. It has an Core i7-8750H processor. For graphics, the laptop works on the GeForce NVIDIA 2070. The laptop has 16GB of RAM and 1TB SSD. The thin bezels work well to give more display real estate for the user. The screen is bright and is an excellent option for the machine learning students. After all, 
As a student you will spend long hours looking at the screen throughout the day. It has the right viewing angles as well. Since the machine learning softwares and algorithms require massive graphics firepower and the NVIDIA 2070 steps up and does what it is supposed to. The body is aluminum, which makes for a very durable and robust laptop. The design has a beautiful aesthetic. This one has a very sharp, square look that stands out. When it comes to ports, the laptop has 5 USB 3.1 ports, including 2 Type-C, 2 3.1 Gen 1 and 1 3.1 Gen 2. It also has an Ethernet port. It has a metal chassis and a slim body, making it a good option for anyone looking for a portable laptop. The Acer Predator Triton 700 has some respectable specifications, making it a good choice for machine learners and anyone looking for a heavy game-ready laptop. The screen size is 15.6 inches. It has a 512 SSD and has a 16GB RAM. The processor in this one is the 7th generation i7. The case has a pleasing design from top to bottom that comprises classic and modern aspects, for example the blue outline of the Predator logo on the lid or the triangular fan exhausts with blue-colored cooling blades. We most definitely welcome the absence of red elements that are stereotypical for gaming notebooks and value the understatement of the entire concept. The area above the anti-ghosting keyboard is visually prominent due to the shiny Gorilla Glass surface that accommodates the touchpad and allows us to peek into the interior where we can see the left cooling fan. The fan on the right can be seen through a grid in the case. The asymmetric design is due to the cooling system. The build quality of the case is very impressive. The lid and the top of the Triton 700 are made of aluminium. And although, the bezels of the display are made of plastic, we subjectively perceive a full aluminium body. 95% of the surfaces blend seamlessly into each other, but it is not perfect, since some elements like the transition between lid and logo are a little too sharp-edged, leaving some space for dust and dirt to collect.